today I am here with Sherry Frankie. Hello. So today we are doing a collab. We are filming a girl talk video. If you want to see part one, it's on Sherry Frankie's channel. Check it out. Sherry Frankie's. <laughs> I said Frankie's. Sherry Frankie's channel. I will link it down below. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I'm making such weird faces. I'm just like. <laughs> okay. So you guys gave like really good questions. Um, we asked on our Instagram, which they're right here. Our Instagrams are right here. <laughs> What's your favorite season? Um, I like fall. It's like the shortest season. I love it because of like sweater weather and like oh, that's like cute yeah colors. Also pumpkin, everything. Pumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I like fall and summer just because summer is no school and I can go swimming and things. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all think about starting a relationship? Um, <laughs> what do they mean? I mean that, like? with like a boyfriend? Yeah, I, with like a boyfriend. I don't want to be like stuck in a relationship where I want to like other guys because I feel like if I'm stuck in a relationship, it's kind of like hard because you know, like people will ask you on dates and be like, sorry, I have a boyfriend, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like you should just wait on boyfriends and like just date other people. Yeah, like I don't know, like when my mom was a teenager, she had a guy that everyone knew they were like boyfriend and girlfriend, but she still went on dates with other people. Yeah. So like I would be okay with having one guy that I like really liked and everybody knew I did, but that would have to be a relationship that the guy knows I'm gonna go on dates with other people too. Exactly, that's a, yeah, <laughs> perfect. A lot of people are asking about braces tips. So, ooh. wait, so when did you get your braces on? I got my braces in sixth grade and I got them off in seventh grade. So I only had them for like a year oh. and a half. Yeah, yeah, I've only had them for a year. I got them on eighth grade and then I got them off. Oh wait, wait. No, I think I got them on seventh grade summer and then I got them off eighth grade summer, like going into ninth grade. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is about a year, 18 months. Yeah, a lot of people asked if they hurt. They do hurt, especially when you get them tightened. Oh my gosh. I hate it. Worst mm -hmm. pain. I feel like, okay, so for me, I had, they put, for my first time, they put a big wire on me. It like hurt really bad. Like I couldn't eat for like five days straight. Mm, like five days yeah, straight. Was, yeah. And it was hard. So I, I just had to eat soup and I was like crying. I was like, I just want to eat. <laughs> yeah. But my brother, he just barely got his top ones on and his teeth didn't hurt at all. What? He just had like this little wire. Oh, and I was like, that's not wow. Hard. I know. I was like, lucky. No, I would say just like be sure that you like brush and floss a lot, especially before you get your braces on. But especially yes. when you have them on, like it's going to be hard to get everything, but your gums will get inflamed just no matter what because yeah. there's metal on your teeth, but you don't want it to get like too bad. Just Yeah, and it might hurt because uh, of course you can't like go on the top not like hitting your gums. Yeah. Like you're going to have to hit your gums and get your gums strong. It hurts and your teeth will bleed, but you'll get over it. Yep. <laughs> How to tell a guy you like him. So we actually answered this on Sherry's, but my tip was just, I feel like it's easier texting yeah. him. Yeah, and I feel like just be like straight up, honestly. Like don't beat around the bush. I don't know. It depends on the relationship you have with the person. Yes. Like if you've been friends for a while, like I think it's easier to like just straight up oh, yeah. tell you. I feel like it's easier. Him. Especially like if you're really good friends with him. Or like, oh, I like you. But just <laughs> texting, I think, like, it sounds weird, but it's probably one of the easiest ways to tell somebody you like them. Yeah. <laughs> when did you guys meet? We actually met at CBX, which was in September. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen each other, like, well, I think. I've at least, like, seen you other places, like, uh -huh. 4th of July. Oh my gosh, I remember, and I saw her, I was like, that is such a pretty girl. Like, I thought you were so cute. No, I thought you were so cute too. I was like, no way, that's Sherry. <laughs> it's like, I knew who you were, but we kind of met in like 4th of July, but we never talked. And then CVX, I like noticed her, so I go, hi Sherry, and she goes, hi. And then that was like the last day, and so sadly we didn't hang out yeah. once, but we went to Moab. And we all hung out yeah, for that's... a while. We did, I think we did a couple of, yeah, we did, yeah, we did like an M&M &M challenge. <laughs> it was so fun, actually. Yeah. Check it out. I'll also, I'll also <laughs> oh like gosh, link that, that down below. That was awesome. Oh. <laughs> Would you guys ever want to leave your church? No, I feel like, I like love my church. I feel like it's a good example for me. And I feel like it's making my life so much easier. And yeah, it just yeah. makes my life a lot better to know like what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of questions with our church like people who are members of the church they still have questions but being able to just realize that you don't have to know everything and just like continue with faith knowing just believing what you already know and yeah. believing that answers will come later yeah. But I don't think I'd ever leave our church yeah I mean okay so I got a lot of these questions if we vaped we are virgin, <laughs> we've smoked, and things like that. So no, our church doesn't believe in that kind of stuff. Like, we just don't believe it's good for us, especially vaping and smoking. We don't really do that because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. to ex explain it, but like, um, we, 
we are okay <laughs> yes we are virgin we are virgin because we believe that we can have sex when we're married mm -hmm. personally I don't think it's like good to have a baby when you're like a teen mm -hmm. I mean yeah I don't know how this and, goes. yeah I mean and like that goes along with kind of like the dating waiting until you're 16 to date just so you don't get too close to a person that yeah. you might make that decision and then it can affect the rest of your life so just keeping yourself just completely separated from that not even giving yourself the temptation to do something that might affect your entire life like yes. just stay safe and yeah I feel like if you have a baby now I feel like it's hard to go to college and things and finish up your school year and so I feel like it's better to like finish up your school year get married and then you can have yeah. kids yeah yeah. <laughs> High school tips. Do your homework. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> turn it in on time. Don't get behind. So I'm in the grid where it's in middle school still, but it's like in high school. Like, yeah. it depends on the school. Yeah. So at my school, it's high school. I feel like ninth grade is probably the hardest year just because you're getting into high school. You're feeling what it's like to get more homework and mm -hmm. they're kind of like getting you ready for college and you have to make sure your grades are good or you just won't get into a good college. So just try to keep your grades at least to B's and A's. It's okay to have a few but I feel like it's better to have A's and B's if you want to get into a, a good college, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, just make friends with new people and get outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Pack lots of food. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yes, pack <that> lots <laughs> of food. <laughs> have you had your first kiss? I have. It was in six... <laughs> My first kiss was in sixth grade. <laughs> I would take it back if I could. It was just a really awkward experience. And then my next kiss was in eighth grade. That one was better. It was still awkward. I'm honestly so surprised that you've already had your first kiss. Because <laughs> yeah, like, people are like, wait, you haven't had your first kiss? That surprises me so much. I was like, no, I haven't had my first kiss. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know, it depends. I'm not sure when I will. I don't know. <laughs> How to deal with your fake friends. I think we've both had fake friends before. I feel like just being able to tell when your friends are fake and when they're not. Like for me, like it was definitely the very beginning of ninth grade in public school when everyone just wanted to take a picture and tag, like have you tag them and shout them out and oh, yeah. they'd play it exactly. cool. And just be like, hey, let's take a picture, you know, and then you can tag me, haha. -ha. Like just like signs that they're exactly. using you to be popular or like stuff like that. Just you don't have to be rude to them and completely cut them out of your life, but making keeping yourself safe and protected and not getting into a relationship that when they're using you to do stuff, you don't want to be in a relationship like that. So I mean, still be kind to them yeah. and treat them kindly, but you don't have to go out of your way to be best friends with them. Yeah, that's like like a perfect example. So I follow my celeb crush on Instagram. His name is Dom. Um, he was on Lost. His name, his character was Charlie on Lost. And if you guys have seen the Leroy's, I, I was obsessed with him. So I saw on his Instagram, someone asked, how do you know if your friend is real or not? He's like, well, tell him a secret and see if it gets around the school. Mm -hmm. Like tell him a fake secret and see if it gets around the school. And if it does, then you know they are not a true friend because they're just telling people like you say to them. I feel like it's just better to know who your real friends are. Life is so much better. How I know how I had fake friends is I made a a private account to follow all my fake friends. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fake friends. <laughs> to follow to follow all my friends and see if they would follow me back. Because I decided for um, my personal big account, I decided to put on follow all my friends mm -hmm. and just follow them on a private account so I can like post about school and things and like my other friends. And let's just say everyone, a lot of my friends did not follow me back. And so I just found out they weren't really my true friends. So yeah, that's how I know. So I was just gonna say, I know someone that like lived really close to me and they started at like eight years old. That'd be so scary. Like you wouldn't even know what a period was and you just wake up one morning and you're like, I'm dying. Like, <laughs> I don't like, know what I would do. Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding. <laughs> like, anyways, hello boys, back again. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're gonna end the vlog, sadly. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see part one, Go to Sherry's channel. It will be it's down good. in the description. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to Sherry's channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Every relation needs a struggle these days. Try to keep them alive, but we throw them away.